what's up everybody beastly gamer here today I'm going to be doing a scariest thing tag on my channel first time I'm ever doing one of these you guys let me know if you like it if you do I'll maybe grab another one at a later date if you don't I won't fuck with it anymore but in the meantime in between time you guys check out this advanced warfare PS4 footage I hope you guys like it I love this game first question on this scariest thing tag is my scariest real life experience the scariest real life experience I've ever had was taking my children someplace. Actually, we were going someplace in a car. I was in the passenger seat. I hopped out to go into the store, and when I came back out, the car was gone, and people were screaming that some guy, someone with a gun actually uh, carjacked the driver of the car. Now, uh, this happened at nighttime, and I knew the driver very well, related to the driver by blood, so I knew the driver wasn't going crazy, and I, I got on my phone, I was calling the police, and I was running up and down the road trying to see if I could see where this car was. Ultimately, the person driving the car wrecked the car into a tree and turned around and fought this person with this gun. The gun went off twice in the car. Uh, my children weren't harmed, but they fought almost to the death. Uh, the, guys, the guy who actually did the carjacking got his ear chewed off in the back seat by the driver. And uh, they separated and they ran their own separate ways. The driver grabbed my sons and ran down the street with them to a home and uh, waited for the ambulance. So, worst day of my life, scariest experience I ever had. I was running up and down the streets crying like a bitch, which is very understandable. All right, the second question. The scariest paranormal experience I ever had uh, happened in Ohio when I was five. Me and my older brother were sleeping. We got up in the middle of the night. We heard our mom downstairs. Went out into the hallway. And there was something in her room, something sitting right by the foot of her door. And it was shaped just like her. And it was, it was sitting Indian style. We both looked at this thing. It was blacker than any other black. There was no lights on. But we could see this thing like it was a cutout. It was so dark. And it looked up at us and we shot down the stairs screaming for our mother. She met us at the bottom of the stairs. And uh, we told her what happened. She let us chill for a few minutes and then later sent us upstairs. She sent us up back to bed by ourselves. And as we looked in the room, we didn't see anything, you know, that looked like this entity anymore. So he ran into our bedroom, and then the door slammed on my head, hit my head, and it was a whole crazy situation. But yeah, that really happened. It was a very scary experience. Have I ever known anyone convicted of a violent crime? I don't know this, this person personally, but I'm very close to this person through, uh, <laughs> through family. Let's just say it like that. And this person actually murdered his wife. Uh, and so that's uh, the, the closest I can get to that one. Am I afraid of the dark? Why or why not? That is the number four question. I am afraid of the dark. I don't like the dark. Uh, I'm, I keep it real. You know, if it's pitch black, I don't know what's around me. And I'm uncomfortable in that kind of situation. I don't know about you guys. Even at nighttime when I'm going to bed. If I'm going to bed by myself, if I'm out here in the living room and all the lights are off, I'm looking around because I grew up in haunted houses. So it's like if you never experienced it, you don't know where I'm coming from. And if you've experienced the kind of stuff I've experienced, yeah, you probably would be scared of the dark too. So here I am, 34. I'm a big ass dude, and uh, I know that there's supernatural things going on that you can't truly understand. So yeah, I'm a little afraid of the dark, and that's why. Uh, does my hometown have any scary legends or stories? Akron, Ohio, does, but I don't know off the top of my head because I was too worried being petrified by the things that were actually in the homes I lived in. If you guys don't know about the ghost stories and stuff that happened to me growing up, just let me know in the comment section. I'll make some videos on it. My favorite urban legend is Res Resurrection Mary. This is the number six question. Resurrection Mary is seen walking down the, the road. I forget which city it's in, but she's always asking for a ride. Uh, she's actually even been seen at a ball. She asked a person she danced with for a ride, and she went she went to a cemetery, that's where she wanted to go. She got out and walked toward the cemetery and, and disappeared. That's like my favorite urban legend. Um, my scariest nightmare. Ah, that's a, that's a difficult one. My scariest nightmare would probably be... Huh. I've had a recurring nightmare since I was a kid of this, this zombie type outbreak situation where I look outside of the home, whichever house this was, it's always the same house, I never lived in it, but there'd be people walking up toward the house coming to eat my brains. And uh, that's why zombies has always been something that interests me because from the time I was old enough to understand what they were, I've been plagued in my nightmares by zombies. And that's my answer to the last question of this Scariest Thing tag. If you guys like these tags, let me know in the comment section below. I'll do some more. Uh, and if not, just let me know and I won't do any more. 
but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did support my channel with a thumbs up and if you guys are new to the Beastly Gamer channel hit that subscribe button hope you guys enjoyed this footage of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare 4 the PlayStation 4 one of my favorite games right now I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time